Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the second day in Ghana, the Prince of Wales visited Ozu Castle, or Christiansborg Castle, in Accra. His Royal Highness and Her Majesty the Queen have both previously stayed here on visits in 1977 and 1961. Christiansborg Castle was built by the Swedes in 1652 and a stone fort was built in 1661 for the King of Denmark. Over time it was sold and occupied by several nations, including the Portuguese, the British, and then by a chief from Okwamu. The principal occupation was the trading of human beings. Although it is very difficult to determine, it is estimated that six million people were traded as slaves from West Africa. The Prince of Wales stands in the door of no return. People would walk through the door and to the seashore before being taken away as slaves on boats. Following Ghana's independence from Britain in 1957, Christiansborg Castle was renamed Government House. His Royal Highness is taken into the castle to find out more about the architectural heritage and future plans for the regeneration of Accra. His Royal Highness is shown into the room Her Majesty the Queen stayed in during her visit in 1961. His Royal Highness joined in a wonderful performance in Accra today. This little musical instrument is called a calabash. His Royal Highness then stood on the Marine Drive viewing platform and found out about the Marine Drive Tourism and Investment Project, a plan to transform a 241-acre coastal site in central Accra. Their Royal Highnesses visited Jamestown Cafe in Accra, which is an area on the coast famous for art, culture, music and dance. <laughs> Does anybody come in here regularly? Their Royal Highnesses chat to local artists at Jamestown Cafe. Philip Kuma created this amazing collage of Nelson Mandela using wasted African fabrics. In the courtyard, their Royal Highnesses were treated to a performance by a Ghanaian nine-year-old DJ alongside young dancers from the local community. The Prince of Wales today met the Okyen Yenhe. Okyen Yenhe is the title of the king of Akiem Abu Akwa, an ancient kingdom in the eastern region of Ghana. During a visit by His Royal Highness the Prince Edward, Prince of Wales to Ghana in 1925, the Okyen lent His Royal Highness his ceremonial umbrella during a tropical downpour. Today, the current Prince of Wales 
gave Yokohene a new umbrella during their meeting. I was so amused that he went off with your umbrella, His Royal Highness said. I was so amused that he went off with the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> On the 4th of November 2018, their Royal Highnesses are in Kumasi, the capital of the Asante Kingdom. At the airport, their Royal Highnesses were received by Owen Heber Edusi Poko and Mr. Simon Owesi Mensa, the Ashanti Regional Minister. Their Royal Highnesses will participate in a Grand Equesta Day Durbar, celebrated on a Sunday once every six weeks. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.